I really like Danica McKellar films and in particular I love her Hallmark Christmas film so I was really looking forward to Christmas at Grand Valley and I have to say I, I agree with the IMDB rating for this. It's got an overall 6.3 out of 10 across 1.3 thousand reviews and ratings and I think it is a pretty good film but nothing incredible. This was released in 2018, directed by Don Cutchin, written by Karen Berger, Sue Tenney and Mark Amato. And alongside Danica, Danica McKellar, who plays Kelly, we have Brennan Elliott, who plays Leo. And I think their on-screen relationship is really great. We do have the classic will-they-won't-they they romantic lead relationship going on here. And it centres around various conflicts. Um, we first learn that Kelly is an artist who's hoping to get her own gallery show and things just don't seem to be going well for her. So she's trying to refine that purpose in her life and refine what it is she loves about painting and artwork um, because she seems to have maybe lost her way a bit. Meanwhile, uh, Leo, Brennan Elliott's character, is going over to Grand Valley where Kelly is from and where she is having Christmas to visit this this Christmas Lodge and the company he works for is potentially having ideas to buy it out and turn it into something different because the the Christmas Lodge isn't necessarily doing as well as it used to or this Christmas Inn and of course he is there with his, his young children. He has two young children who provide that classic youthful energy that we get with a lot of Hallmark films and he meets Kelly who's doing a lot of work with children around Christmas and they seem to hit it off straight away but she doesn't want this Christmas, well, this inn to be sold and Leo wants to do what's right by her, but also has to do what's right for the company he works for. I won't say what happens. I will say it's relatively predictable. There were a few things here and there that I hadn't predicted that kept it a little bit fresh, but it's, it's a Hallmark film. It's got a pretty cookie cutter template and that works very well. There's a reason why Hallmark films are quite, dare I say, repetitive similar they're very similar but it works it's comforting it's warm it's fuzzy it is very Christmassy a lot of very Christmassy colors and um, the the artwork that Kelly does is absolutely stunning and um, very festive a lot of decorations and the children do provide as I said this um this brilliant youthful energy that we get whenever there are children in Hallmark Christmas films um, I enjoyed it there's nothing in it that I would say would ever make it one of my favorites not even my top 10 Hallmark films. Would I watch it again? I don't think I'd ever seek it out. But if it happened to be on TV or whatever, then I'd quite happily watch it again as background noise or anything because it was quite pleasant, quite nice. As I said, I really liked Danica McKellar, so there was always that pull factor. Um, but it, it's sweet. It definitely had a, a nice story to tell. It told it well with some likeable characters. I have no complaints.